This is your no bullshit review of Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve. So right off the bat, I like this a lot. Brown Foreman did a really great job. That's who makes Old Forester as well. Uh, they did an awesome job with this. And one of my favorite all times is Elijah Craig. And this really competes with that as far as price point, as far as performance. And honestly, I think this really drinks like one of the more expensive Old Foresters, which we'll talk about a little bit. But as we get to the numbers, as I wrote down here, let's just talk about real quick some things that I wrote down. So I wrote down delightful. It uh, I said it's solid and above budget. So even though this is only a $35 bottle of bourbon, I really think it drinks like a more expensive bourbon. Um, Well-rounded and it's always on my shelf. So um, I also wrote down here on par with Elijah Craig uh, as far as price and performance. Performance, high performance. So let's talk about the numbers. So the numbers for this are really, you know, comparable uh, to another bourbon that we'll talk about in a little bit, but let's talk about this first. So sweetness, you're looking at uh, 8.4. Um, you know, this is 100 proof, so you're gonna have a rather sweet kind of feel for stuff that's 100 proof and below, usually. Smokiness, 5.1, you know, right in the middle. Harshness, 4.5, not overly harsh, pretty easy to drink. Floral 2.1, I noted that it reminds me of some of the four roses that are out there with the uh, floral notes. Um, body 5.5, you know, it's mid, not really heavy, not super viscous or, or oily. Complexity 5.5, uh, around 5.5. Um, you know, it's not overly complex, there's not a lot going on. It, it dances on your taste buds, stays there a little bit, and then it goes away. Um, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't go away quickly, but it doesn't stick around long either. And then for value, I got a nine. This is a solid, solid bourbon. Um, I've come to enjoy it. It took me a long time to even, you know, pick it up and try it out uh, just because of some of the re reviews I saw. Um, it just kind of said that it was kind of in the middle, um, and it is. Uh, one of the other ones that reminds me of is, and it's also well-rounded itself, is Henry McKenna Bottled and Bond. That's what it reminds me of as far as its well-roundedness. Now, what does it remind me of in general? In general, Elijah Craig and Repeal Batch by Jim Beam. These are the ones that it reminds me of uh, just in general. I'm not saying it tastes like them exactly. What I'm saying is when I drink Cooper's Craft, these are the ones that kind of pop into my brain as far as like, oh, kind of reminds me of that. So in closing, I think this is a great bourbon that if you can find it, definitely give it a try. It's uh, in the top percentile as far as like what my favorite bourbons are. Um, I'm gonna come out with a, uh, you know, favorite bourbons or favorite budget, best bourbons, best bur budget bourbons, etc. This is definitely gonna be a part of that series in different ways. So try it out. If you see it in the stores, leave a comment down below if you've had it and what your thoughts are and your ratings are. And uh, until next time, later.